Welcome to Municipal Affairs. I'm Christopher Brown. Over the last few weeks, our team has been crisscrossing the province of Saskatchewan in preparation for our live Saskatchewan Provincial Election Night Special, live on YouTube on October 28th. During our journey, we connected with mayors, councillors, and other key stakeholders to understand how this election will shape the future of municipalities. And as this election enters into its final days, you will certainly need to stay informed with the Scoop Political Briefing newsletter. It is your go-to source for daily updates on the party strategies and candidate advertising. I certainly took advantage of it during a Cross Saskatchewan tour, and I look forward to it every morning when I wake up during the week. Now, if you want to sign up for that free that free newsletter, head over to thescoop.ca. That's the S-K-O-O-P dot C-A and get the essential insights about all things Saskatchewan politics delivered directly to your inbox. Today, we are joined by bigger Saskatchewan former mayor, Ray Sadler. And he will talk about his unique perspective as a candidate for the upcoming municipal election, but also as a former mayor himself, about how this provincial election will address municipal issues and how he hopes after this election, the next government will address some key municipal concerns. Attention Saskatchewan. This election season, Municipal Affairs is hitting the road in partnership with SUMA for the Saskatchewan Provincial Election. Join us on election night for live coverage straight from Regina on YouTube featuring exclusive insights from municipal leaders and stakeholders across the province. We will be capturing their reaction to the results and be diving into what the new provincial government means for municipalities. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan to hear directly from local leaders about the issues that matter most to you. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan starting September 30th to hear directly from local leaders like yourself about the issues that matter most. This is your election covered like never before. Municipal Affairs, your trusted voice from the grassroots to the government. <laughs> Ray, you are a candidate for the upcoming municipal elections for mayor. Absolutely. Um, I just got to ask, there's a provincial election going on. Have you been paying attention to what's been going on provincially as well as what's going on municipally? Actually, provincially and what's coming up federally and what's going on in the states. Okay, so let's just let's stick with the provincial election okay. for a second. Uh, two major parties, the Saskatchewan Party and the Saskatchewan New Democratic Party. What are you looking for the party leaders and the local candidates to address when it comes to municipal issues? I think what I like the parties to address is uh, finding out where they actually are with their people, which means more communication to the towns and villages and hamlets and coming out more often and not just offering the money idea, but coming out and talking to us about our communities and seeing where their world, their provincial world, which is at the ledge, can fit into our world, which is municipal. And where do you see them fitting into that role? So if you are the successful mayoral candidate in the next uh, municipal election, what specifically are you looking for the province to take and use as their role when it comes to municipal issues? I think a lot of communication levels have to be more addressed. Every year we have SUMA, basically, which and the rule has SARM. We need more SUMAs. We need more time with candidates, more time with elected officials that are the ministers. Not just the, the minister's office, but actual ministers. And I know it's tough, but even the premier sh should be somebody very involved in all his communities in our, in our beautiful province. Your local MLA, Randy Weeks, is not running for re-election, so you have two new candidates who are going to be here representing bigger after a uh, potential new MLA after this next municipal, uh, next provincial election. What are you lo looking for from your local representative after this provincial election? I think more than anything, a conversation. Whether it takes uh, whoever wins uh, a month or two months or an entire year, 
come out to our, our part of the woods and talk to us and involve the RMs, involve the leaders that have the knowledge to move things forward. Because you want small town Saskatchewan, you want the small rules, you want the RMs to be connected, you want to make sure that we have the structure, the infrastructure, but we also have to broaden our horizons and reach out to other countries. We have to be more, how do you say, flexible on the world market because that's going to bring more to Saskatchewan and to other provinces and Canada. We just need to be more than just what's in front of us. We need to look over the horizon. And the old joke about the dog, you can see your dog running away for miles in Saskatchewan, may be true, but I see a vision of another place, which means I see European countries, I see like the, the Asian countries, I see all these people with all their beautiful knowledge and all their trade and all their wisdom to come here to work with us to build a better province. Final question before I let you go because I know you're a busy man. I want to, how do I ask this? You talk about what the province can do for municipalities, but what can the municipalities do to help provincial governments address some of these issues as well after the next uh, provincial election? I think m municipal governments could have more feedback to their province, which means not just once a year or during an election, but once a month. If you've got feedback to the to tell the, the, the province, your elected leader, what's going on, and to, le to tell the elected party what's going on, everything will be together in a connection. Communication, number one in my feelings of how you run a municipality, a government. You talk about communication, communication, communication. It seems to be a key theme for you. Um, what does communication mean, though? Does it mean just having those meetings, or does it mean an open dialogue where you're able to call a spade a spade and say the harsh things that you need to say to get your point across? You don't have to be, a, you don't have to be harsh. What you have to do is, if somebody promises you something or you need to, to look at something, for example, if you're painting your house, you tell your house painter it's going to be blue, you come back the next door and it's pink. You may not want pink, but by communication, I simply mean that the rhetoric will make it a lot easier for the province to understand their municipalities. And communication comes in very, very great levels. It's the way we get things built. It's the communication nowadays when we look at things like the new electric world. You know, communication with the new farm tractors. Are they going to be electric? Who knows? We don't know yet. So, and I really don't know what's going to happen with carbon. I don't know what's going to happen with the, with the country when it comes to things like that. That's communication to me. I'd like to know. Media shows you so many different things, but you have to make sure you filter them, talk to the right people, and make sure it works. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Municipal Affairs. We just want to take a moment and ask you to do one quick favor for us. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You will not want to miss the upcoming episodes around the Saskatchewan election, but also you will not want to miss our special election night special live from downtown Regina, where we will be discussing how this election will impact the municipal landscape over the next four years. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you're listening to this on audio, head over to our YouTube channel, Cross Border Interviews or Cross Border Networks, and subscribe today. And if you haven't already, be sure to head over to the scoop.ca and get that insightful newsletter delivered directly to you every weekday, directly to your inbox. I use it as a resource when I was traveling across the province of Saskatchewan, and it is a resource that you surely will want to have. And your support has been wonderful over the last few weeks and over the last few months and even last few years. So we truly appreciate you taking time and watching and listening to all these great episodes and great interviews that we've been putting out. So stay connected. Stay informed, and we'll see you next time here on Municipal Affairs.